Welcome to Georgia. Yeah, actually, uh, Tbilisi. So tired. This room is amazing. I'll do a room tour in a minute, but I need to clean things up, you know, find coffee and I'm so confused inside. I don't know what time of day it is. I don't know. I just know <laughs> I'm here and um yeah, we are here to shoot different things, make cool videos, experience different culture, and I'm so down for that. Should be a fun day. I need to go right now. I need to take my bath. <laughs> so much fun. Oh. Oh. Hi guys. just to visit and to cover uh, so uh, the place where we are now is called Bodbe and uh, this place is very special for us because here is a buried a 14 year old girl who preached Christianity in Georgia uh, in the 4th century uh, by the way uh, she, when she passed away she was uh, 70, approximately in, in her 70s uh, so she was 14 years old when she came to Georgia uh, and she went to Asian capital so then she started preaching Christianity there but at that time people worshipped idols and no one believed her uh, 
uh, and our queen had a cancer and everyone believed that she would die in a couple of months and uh, there was one lady who told her uh, go to Saint Nino's place and she does miracles and she will help you and she will cure you. Uh, when our queen went to Saint Nino's place she asked for help and she did the miracle, she put her hand on her stomach and she said some prayings and after a while our queen was cured and recovered and uh, then she became a religious believer and when she told her husband our king what happened to her uh, the king didn't believe her because he believed that idols helped her not uh, Saint Nino or Christianity or like, Jesus mm -hmm. Christ yeah and one day when our king went to the forest for hunting it became very dark and he wasn't able to find his way back home and he, st he started praying to Jesus uh, his, to his idols but there was no help and uh, when then he remembered about his wife's religion and he started praying to King Jesus Christ uh, and and uh, after a while all his way was lit up and he was able to come back home to his wife and when he told uh, our queen his wife what happened to him uh, they both uh, were all religious believers and they asked people and population to believe in Christianity but no one did because people worship that idol mm -hmm. and when Saint Nino saw that how people strongly worship that idol she uh, got down on her knees in front of a lot of people and she started praying praying and praying and after a while the clouds cast together and the lightning from the sky struck that statue mm -hmm. uh, in the old Asian capital there was standing a huge statue of a man holding an animal's horn in his hand as a symbol of power and people worshiped the titles and that, uh, that uh, statue was uh, was like six times bigger than this church. Uh, so the lightning struck that statue and that statue was shattered in pieces and when people saw that uh, this was the sign and after that people gradually started believing in Jesus Christ uh, and then people uh, decided to put uh, her on the cross instead of that uh, statue as a symbol of our religion and after, after that Saint Nino decided to go all over Georgia and preach Christianity all over the country and this was the last place where she came and when she looked around she liked this place so much that she decided to spend all her life here and in her 70s she passed away and uh, she is buried inside this church uh, by the way uh, this church was built in the 16th century uh, before that uh, here was only a grave uh, yeah and people do the 16th uh, paintings inside the walls are also uh, from the 16th century this bell tower is uh, from the 17th century uh, and uh, that church is a new one it opened several a uh, couple of months ago Girls uh, need to cover your head. In summer, I had a group. Okay. And I, um, I said to the group that the girls and women, you have to cover your head when you enter uh, inside. And they said, oh, okay. And then I saw a girl entering like this. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. There are scarves inside. You should cover your head with scarves, not with hands. Ah, oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> um, it would be best if you cover your head with scarf. But if you cover okay. with something... Uh, no, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll tell you interesting things uh, about churches. Uh, when you enter Catholic church, uh, you can see chairs. Yeah. But uh, in Orthodox Church, uh, there are no chairs. Yes. That's, uh, yeah, that, that's because, that's because <laughs> yes. Catholics believe that the uh, church is a God's house. And when you enter your God's house, you should have a rest and relax. And that's why they put chairs there. Uh, Orthodox believe that, uh, yeah, of, of course, the church is a God's house. But when you enter your God's house, you should not uh, have a uh, um, sit and relax. <laughs> you have to relax, but not uh, physically, but spiritually. You should uh, show your respect to your God, and you should not stand or go down on your knees. And that's why we don't keep chairs. We keep chairs, but only for old people, because when we have service process, uh, old people can stand for three hours, and that's why we keep chairs only for them. They have a seat, and after a while, they uh, stand up and continue their service. So this is it. Okay, so we have half an hour here, and after half an hour, let's be in a car. Uh, 12, 12, 10. <laughs> This is fun. Uh, inside this uh, photo shooting is Hi guys. Um, we just went through the church in our house. The representative was explaining. So we don't know. <laughs> I couldn't film anything because it is not allowed to film any anything in inside it because it, it is reserved as a holy place. 
So you cannot film anything about this. So yeah, let's move on. Now going to the next one, which is this. It's so cold. Moving on, but I need to turn this off before I go inside. So see you later. Was reconstructed uh, during one year. There was uh, more than 1,000 cases when when uh, foreign couple got married here. Oh, okay. <laughs> only only foreign couple, not Georgians. Only foreign couple, and that's why they call it city of love. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that's it. Uh, by the way, in the 13th century, many tribes and enemies tried to invade this place. Uh, and here, they, and then uh, here was very small population. And when our king heard about that. He sent huge army here, and he surrounded all the city with the panic wall. From here, you can see that wall. Come on, I'll show you. You see the tower yeah, and yeah, park. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the panic wall surrounding. Ah, okay. Uh, this enemy tried to invade the place and conquer the place. And we had wars. Is this people residence, right? No yeah, hotels. yeah, people residence. There are also many guest houses, hotels, but mostly people residence. So this is it. Uh, you heard about Chinese Red Wall? Yes. 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 This it's is similar George, like that. Yeah, it's similar like that. This is Georgian uh, Red Wall. The so Greek Wall? Huh? The yeah, Greek yeah, Wall. Yeah, tourist walk on top. Ah, okay. Yeah. But it's perfect. Wow. The rain ruined the view. And you can't take the picture. In summer, this place is full of people. Okay. It's overcrowded. There is open bazaar where you can buy souvenirs and anything what you like. Moving on. Next place, lunch and wine tasting. Oh, any, any market nearby there? I have dinner and um, wine, and I have no idea what I'm going to have over there. But uh, it will be fun. It will be cool. What is that? <laughs> Hi there. How are you guys? Well, drinking that much alcohol will make any day. Ah, that's that, that's actually actually the most famous alcohol alcohol Christmas tree in the world, huh? Aye. <laughs> Aye. Okay, T. Question. So, how was the terrible rainy day <laughs> in the city of love? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I 
the, you have first lunch. Okay. okay. And then we do the good wine tasting, wow. which will make you forget about the rain, wow. about bad weather, about, about coronavirus, and about <laughs> the wine stuff, which is okay, happening okay. in the world. Okay. So right? you, you are the ones who is doing the, all the wine years and you're making I, it all I'm the, the owner of this house and I'm a wine maker, wow. yes. Okay. That's okay. cool. And I've read, I read most of this book. But <laughs> <laughs> Not that Who has this collection of Not that yeah. This is the family collection, this is the family house here. So, yeah, so okay. really feel like at home, okay? Yeah. You take any film photos, any pictures, home. anywhere ah. you want. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Chacha distillation. Yeah. This is fun. So you do the fire over here? Yeah, I'll show you how it works. And this is this is the real homemade chacha. Okay. Which we produce here. Okay. Let's come everybody outside so it will be a nice video. Out. So see, look at this. So this is the fire. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then here in the copper thing you have the grape remains. And then uh, you can start following me on, Insta on Instagram, Instagram and you will yeah. see all this. So then the hot air here comes through, uh, with the alcohol comes through this tube, okay? And this is the cooling system. There's the cold water in here, okay? okay? So that hot one goes through the cool water okay. in the tube. It condensates, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay? And it turns into liquid and comes out from here. So that's the, that's the easy no, uh, process. And and what, and what, what, what we put in here <coughs> and what we do the cha-cha from, I will show it to you, okay? I don't know. My God, he's lost. 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 He's the He's lost. 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 He's Grape pumice. 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 Okay. And uh, in French it would be grape mark. Uh, so you have this. These are the seeds and the skins and the plant. So so the of, of the grape. So no yeast and anything added. We don't need anything to it. So that's why this cha cha will be. So ah, okay. So nothing added to it. So okay. just you mash it, take out the juice. Yes, exactly. Juice will be wine and juice the mash will be wine part. You, and the mash part you boil it. Mash part here. you put it in here. Uh huh. You just close this. Water or no water? No, no water because I leave a little bit, like ten percent of liquid uh -huh. wine in there. So you don't need to add water. Uh -huh. If you add some water, if you dry this to the very end, uh -huh. squeeze everything out, uh -huh. then you have to add some water. When you add some water, the sugar levels drop yeah. down a little yeah. bit. So when they drop down, that means you have to add some sugar to it. Yeah, and so when you eat the sugar that. and the water, that will be not the fully natural kind of uh, premium part. So. Okay, so and what you do with these steps? So it will just be... With this. <laughs> no, these, these are to eat with this, right? Yes. Okay. If you want, yeah. If you want. If this is want. dry grapes, right? Yeah. So this is no, this is, this is actually, uh, this is the flower of, mm -hmm. uh, of the tree. Okay. And sometime end of May, uh, they pick these flowers and uh, they do the marinade from pickle. Mm. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's kind of pickled flowers. It's called John Jolie in Georgia. So the way to remember the name of this John. is John Jolie's, Angelina Jolie's brother is John. <laughs> yeah. John Jolie. <laughs> Come join us. Us. No, go in and the stairs on. down and up. Jump they look car. awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh sure. <laughs> no, <I'm> sure. <laughs>
<laughs> so traditionally, in many different cultures, something belongs to something. Yes. Oh yeah, in different when countries. This process is comes. It comes like a this string. Coming from you, this. Yeah? Yes. I mean, you and can. And this much killia is comes. Uh, yeah. Now, 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 uh, now. Uh, I will. I will tell you. I will explain to you. Uh, when you run it, uh, the first ten percent of the liquid which comes out is very high in alcohol. Because okay. alcohol is the first thing which evaporates. Which yeah, yeah. yeah, what goes. Yeah. So you don't drink that one. Okay. And you don't drink the last part because the, the last part is very low in alcohol okay. and has some kind of strange taste. Because this this machine doesn't have the filters and then okay. right. So what you, you you take just the golden middle. Okay. Of this, oh, okay. all right. Uh. You filter it mechanically, okay. And then this is what you have, and this is around fifty percent alcohol. Fifty so percent alcohol, yeah. really? But but for that, <laughs> for being fifty percent alcohol, uh -huh. it's very smooth. Mm. Okay. Yeah. You know, vodka is, for instance, forty. Forty seven. Forty one. Forty. But when you drink vodka, I mean, it's <laughs> 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 yeah. no, but it's very really nice. But this is very, very, very smooth. Kind yeah. of gives you that really uh, because it's homemade. I do a lot of factory made cha cha, but mm. I myself drink this. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but this is pure, pure, purely, purely natural product. Purely natural product. So yeah, no, any. No, no, no. Mr. George, <laughs> why are you saying cha-cha so often? And I'm like, because this is called cha-cha. And she's like, thanks God. I, th I thought it was our uncle was here. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> cha-cha means, means uncle. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. And then, and I said, so explain it to me. And she's like, we are on a very nice trip. I saw the snow first time. Uncle is very straight. Though I hoped he lived in Dubai. <laughs> he, he stayed in, in Dubai. He didn't come with us. So, yeah. so every time I was saying cha cha, she was looking for that. <laughs> and then she taught me that it's cha cha. That's uh, father's brother, right? Yeah. 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 And cha -cha. then it's cha chi. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, yeah. So she was really, really sweet. I mean, educated me in those kind of details. Oh. Yes. <laughs> like, when French tell you that dry wines are the only wines and all the rest is Coca-Cola for the girls, yeah. they're uh -huh. not right. Because yeah. the uh, big part of the world loves some sweet wines yes, yeah. and prefers them to the dry wines. Yeah. Okay? Or uh, this wine goes excellent with any meat. Mm. Okay? Okay. And that's the Georgian tradition. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay? Now, describe to me the big family gathering in India. The weddings. weddings. Yeah, weddings. Huge uh, weddings and birthday party. And party. Yeah. Yeah. I, a bunch of people sit, sitting around the table, food for everyone. It's yeah. not like you're eating fish, darling, <laughs> and I'm yeah. eating like steak, medium, rare, yeah. and you choose the alcohol yeah. accordingly. So, the same in Georgia, for instance. Yeah? Okay. Uh, you have 10 Georgians sitting around the table, there's food for like at least 30, <laughs> as, if, as if the war is starting the next day. <laughs> so, and we drink, so there's all type of food. So you choose the wine according to, according to the situation, traditions, and, and, and so on. The same way like we dress the way we like, you should drink the wines you like. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And not the, what's trendy, what and you drink it. Uh, <laughs> it so, for instance, there's a very high percentage of the visitors of restaurants agree to the very first bottle which is offered by the sommelier. Yes. Because you feel kind of embarrassed that you don't know one else, so you trust the very first offer. Okay? <laughs> when you tr trust the very first offer of a salesman, what happens to your nose? You, know, yeah. right? <laughs> you end up buying what he wants you to buy. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so you should know, of course, the good uh, restaurants with the reputation is that they will not give you bad wine or something. But still, there will be some preferences how they, 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 they maneuver through that and what you order. Yes? Very often, going to the restaurant, planning to drink the wine, people open the wine card, the wine menu. And it starts Spain, Italy, Chile, <laughs> South Africa, I don't know, Australia, yeah. and that. You just get fucking lost. You, know? you just close it then? and order beer or vodka or, or uh, I don't know, just, uh, tequila or whiskey mm. or something. Don't be ashamed of wines. Cause, although I've, I've had a lot of hot liqueur in my life, and, mm -hmm. and then I love it. And I love good cognac and good whiskey and something. 
always know that wines are much more they, they uh, for your body and for your health. White wines are kind of uh, e easier, easy to easier. Digest. Yeah, yes, they are easier to digest. So they they, they harm you less. Okay, mm -hmm. so that that's that's in principle. Because in principle, all types of alcohol for our body naturally it's a poison. So our body always fights the alcohol because it takes it as a, as a poison. So strong drinks, that's a kind of sh big shock for our body and, and all that. But I belong to the part of the people group which thinks that the stress is worth for our oh, body. body and the health than the alcohol which takes that stress away. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we drink. Okay? <laughs> all right. Okay. Now, you, you and you come here. So special. You're not a lot yes. No, okay. No, no. All right. All so right. in Georgia, we do not drink without saying a toast. And a toast yeah. is not just Omar Joseph cheers. It's drinking to something or someone. And of course, this toast goes to this beautiful lady <laughs> present in this room. We have a bunch of fancy cameras in their hands, so we can really see their beautiful yes, eyes. But anyway, <laughs> All right. girls, tea. Wish you love. Happiness, hell, and all your wishes come true, even those which we sometimes don't like. <laughs> no. Cheers. Go. Cheers. Oh. If you let the drop in there, I, will I, I, I want more. <laughs> <laughs> I want more. Okay. All right. So we proved that we had it. And I will tell you that in Georgia, actually, there is a tradition of drinking this full. Mm -hmm. So this would be approximately one bottle. Okay. What is this made of? Uh, it's the horn it's of the buffalo, or something like this. Is oh. the horn. This is the horn of the wild goats. Okay, so yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So, so is, the, it's it's always there's a hole inside. It has to. You have to put pour something in. So oh. there are big ones. There are small ones. There are like really small ones. Really small. Okay. Uh, you can do it from this, you can have it from, from, from clay, okay, so, but this is the tra tradition, you know, uh, part of Georgian traditions to drink from the horns, of course, not every day, and not, not, not at, or at every occasion, but, um, you know, that's just part of the drinking culture here, so what happens, for instance, if you have, if you have the wedding or something, so you would have first a toast to the god and then, then yeah, to the family yeah, yeah. and then when you drink to, to the right and right, you just tam tamada, the toast maker, yeah. would fill this up to the end, okay? And would the toast, drink it, and then this one goes around the table. So you would have probably at the big weddings, you would have like ten like this. So everyone is, and you fill it, drink it, fill it up. You say that, show that it's empty, you fill it up and give it to the next one. Okay? Next one yeah. so, so everyone gets fucking drunk really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, I'm back home from the trip and I learned so many things today. If you also learned something, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. And try to stay safe because this corona is getting out of hand. Try to sanitize your hands, wash your hands anytime. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.